Hello beautiful legends and welcome to Blunt Force Healing Podcast, episode number 412. It's the first segment, there will be probably two or three maybe. I was expecting that maybe Saturday will be slightly more exciting than yesterday, but it's not that much. We went to Kinloch to check on one area, which is like a community park. Uh, with, yeah, with a light woodland and playground uh, built within that woodland. So it, it's a nice place for, nice location for, for a playground because, you know, it's surrounded by, by the forest and then lake is just, just around the corner. So we spent uh, a little bit of time there and not sure if it's visible. This thing is my souvenir from the playground. <laughs> I went on one, though, one of those, how do you call them, slides? Uh, the one, the thing is that you go on the seat and you slide across the Yeah, it's thing. like a line and there's something attached to it. So you just sit on it and yeah. just swing yourself and, and Right, and, it, and it was nice. I was filming Elizabeth and Julian uh, from it while I was going. Yeah, and I wasn't expecting the sudden sudden break. Impact. Uh, and there was like a like a bulge knot, knot. knot tied on the on on this thing, and it's like a plastic, so it's very hard. And when it jerked me. Hey, yo. Without any uh, additional meanings here, uh, at the moment when I was breaking, I wasn't expecting and it hit me in the head. For now, that's it. I'll probably record the rest in the next segment. So I'll be back soon. And I'm back. As you can see, it's a bit windy. So quick update to extend on where we are at the moment. We are in Tulan. Sorry, I'll try to get you the right and nice sunset. So that beautiful sunset is now happening in the west coast. Um, when we were coming back from Kinloch, we decided to stop by and do a walk in Tulan. Strand, which is basically part of Bundaran. Uh, I mentioned it a couple of times when we were surfing or attempting to surf. And here is Elizabeth and Julian. They're trying to catch as many photos or videos of that beautiful sunset. And as I said in the first segment, Kinloch was nice, but it's more of a little woodland with the playground and short trails uh, of about, I don't know, a couple of hundred meters just for the families to walk around and enjoy the lake views, etc. But nothing fancy, no, not, not a proper hiking trail or anything like that. So we decided to come back and catch the sunset anyway uh, on the way back to Donegal town. Morning was quite usual, we just did, I promised yesterday uh, to Julian that I will do waffles, so I did the waffles, we enjoyed them in the morning, did our own chores and that was it, nothing, nothing happened really in the morning, uh, we kind of, Julian and myself, we stayed in bed to about, I think, half 10 or something like that we, we definitely stayed the longest in the recent months so that was a nice night's sleep and a lovely morning but you know we woke up quite late half 10 is something unusual to us to wake up that late but but we needed that our bodies needed that oh because we yeah, I forgot that I didn't include in the updates yesterday's movie night. Yeah. So yeah, that that's because we stay because we stayed yesterday a bit longer. So we went to bed after midnight. 
because we watched two movies. Uh, I'll write more about it in the blog post. Oh my god. <laughs> there is a doggy. Uh, and yeah, so that was the reason why we probably slept a little bit longer. Okay, so that's it. We slept until 10.30. Yes. So that's about it for the second segment. So there will be third segment. That's the beautiful sunset with Crossant Gamer. And uh, we'll be back soon. Let me just take a couple of nice photos of that sunset before it goes away. And welcome back. Beautiful legends, I think it will be the last segment of today's uh, episode. I don't want to drag it for too long. This Saturday wasn't super exciting. Uh, it was actually quite usual. Although we visited two places, the views were amazing at Tulan Beach where we did a lot of pictures of the sunset as you could see on the segment on the previous segment the sun that was setting there was just giving amazing spectacle so it was a lovely evening albeit on the chill side i would say it was it was quite cold and as soon as the sun was setting the temperatures dropped significantly and you could you could feel it so we had a lot of fun going back from the beach you know playing with Julian kind of spinning around he was jumping on my back and we were kind of running around the beach so it was very nice very cool fresh air and a bit of exercise I would say or cardio never hurts so I wanted to just give you an update on the thing that I mentioned I think at the beach on the previous segment that we were sleeping quite long today because of that movie night that we served ourselves uh, yesterday and we started with I don't remember exact name of the city so I might butcher it but I think it's on Netflix it's a Nigerian movie based on actual events i think it's called the flight to abuja or last flight to abuja something like that so basically it's 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 based on facts it happened that that plane actually um crash landed but we were searching for something like you know documentaries or movies about the real catastrophes and this one was suggested we knew it's not the documentary but it's on based on facts but it's definitely a budget type of movie and definitely on the bad side I would say of the of the ones that you can pick so the actors, uh, actors are really, really bad in terms of they overdo what they should do. You know, the when when a person is acting, they should get into character and behave like it's their second skin, not going by the screenwriting exactly to the point not overacting and it's it's a, it's a skill it's something that you can see with the biggest actors where they just do it so naturally that you don't even believe for a moment that this character is not that actual actor and here it's <laughs> it's funny to watch because these people are trying so hard and i really appreciate their their willingness to be good actors but it's not the way and also translation most of them speak english and it's like the nigerian english so you know there's you, you can hear the accent and i don't mind that but obviously it's different when you watch it it's not like the strictly 
English movie when there's an English screenwriting involved actors that many of them have native roots in English language so it's I don't know how to explain it but it's it's different vibe and I like the foreign movies that's why we watched it because we wanted to give it a chance and we always give a chance to movies actually yesterday's movie night was really about foreign movies because the first one was that Nigerian production and then it was a Chinese production so you can imagine we went really far from standard US or Hollywood style movies but yeah it was very budget film you could see that by the 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 quality of actors, the quality of screenwriting. Well, there was not much to screenwrite about because many of those stories were taken from real life and the real events. Obviously, there is some probably fiction involved as well. But the final scenes, the, the, the so-called CGI of the, the plane crash was so bad. Like, I could carry on with the movie in general because it was good kind of sharp quality filming and etc it was okay language also wasn't a problem but you know you can't do things literal in the movies when you when you act and also when you do the cgis they should at least look believable the plane crash and then that crash was you know eventually after the crash i don't want to spoil it but there is a there is a moment where uh, one person like there are survivors basically i don't want to spoil it uh too much and there's a scene that if you watch that movie you just just watch it for that one scene or those two scenes and you know what I'm talking about so let's clear it up it was a flight to Abuja or whatever that's that's called it was it was <laughs> funny to watch my wife fell asleep and we with Julian had a good crack watching those uh, bad CGI and so-called uh, special effects at the end of the movie so it, it was it was at least funny you know and then we switched to a, another movie and we planned to just watch the, let's say, half of it, go to sleep and then watch the rest the next day, today. But we decided to go all over it and so we consumed two movies yesterday. And that was Chinese production. It was called The Wandering Earth. It's completely sci-fi movie. It's about, you know, when, when the sun goes into the stage where it becomes a nova and becomes starts expanding so it endangers the existence of the earth and all the countries around the world are cooperating creating sick and mad plan on what to do with earth i don't want to spoil it again it's a very interesting concept albeit i don't think it's doable even if you stretch our possibilities it's a well well into the future kind of thought but what's great in this particular production is that english translation is is isn't very isn't very good probably i would say even on the worst side acting is okayish i would say most of the actors are playing you know the asian type of uh, acting is slightly different they they tend to do a more accentuated acting so it's different in general but it's 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 bearable but as the opposite to the previous movie that we watched the cgi so computer graphic generated scenes which are plenty in this movie i would say are one of the one of the best that i've seen and they are pretty much a game level quality 
and when you have a cutscenes and those movies within games this is a top level CGI in my opinion and I, I believe me that I watch a lot of CGI in my life and the details the way they are done really really good and there's plenty of it so it's more like you're watching embedded reality or augmented reality in reverse so it's like it's like a game and everything is almost computer generated but the actors which are real people well blended into the the whole thing so i must say that i'm impressed and what i really like about movies is when producers think about small details like um, closing credits where there's just not a blank screen or something that just you know some text text scrolls through but they actually add effects there and make it more interesting so you actually stay to read those credits because they are interesting and they are engaging and that's that's something that I really like about those movies where where it's done because it makes you think that yeah somebody that produced that movie wanted that to be good from the very beginning to the very end and while this the movie itself and the storyline is a little bit you know on the real real fiction side it's still a good movie to watch I would probably recommend it. It's not nothing that would be a classic or anything like that, but it's a nice refresher, especially that it didn't come from, you know, Hollywood or any European well-funded production, but it actually came from a Chinese production and I know that they obviously have big budgets for for different things and this definitely had a nice budget to create such a such a nice piece of uh, computer graphics and animation and special effects I must admit so these two movies we did you can see my bump here on the forehead still so what I'll do is actually as a bonus I will stitch that short moment because I was recording when I hit myself in the head. I'll stitch it together and add it just after I wrap up. So if you're patient enough and you want to see it, then enjoy my suffering when I hit myself. You won't see me hitting that because I was obviously filming, but you will definitely see the moment when the camera shakes violently and when I scream of pain so enjoy that for now that's it for today guys maybe we can watch something or play some games with Julian I don't know it's 6 p.m. so I have a couple of things to do but I'll wrap up now this is the last segment I hope you have a great rest of the day afternoon or evening wherever you are as always I appreciate you coming in and consuming my content because I know your time is valuable and when you spend it watching me or listening to me that's always really appreciated I want you to know it so thank you very much once again stay tuned and see you tomorrow Oh, I've whipped this time. So? <laughs> Tato, oh. look at your phone. Thank you. <laughs>